Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video you're going to see a magic trick that I came up with the other day. The Great Wu, the Great Wu Ding, the Great Wu Ding's gonna do a thing. So, uh, here is the trick. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a shuffling challenge. So I'll show you what to do as the participant and then you can participate. And the challenge is uh, to beat me in shuffling. Mm. So I'm gonna do an overhand shuffle uh, just once, just once through the cards. And uh, we're gonna see how many packets I can shuffle off in that uh, one shuffle and then see if you can beat me. Uh, over 10 is good, I found. Over 20 is foie. Very, very good. Here we go then. So here's what I want you to do in a minute. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 25, 26, 27. Wow. Now that, that's actually a personal best. Uh, I've practiced this effect with old cards and this is a newer pack of cards. Foire. Thanks again, Ken. Um, what was that? 27. Uh, I'll hand them to you. Can you beat 27? And you would have a go. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Foire. Uh, personal best for you and indeed a, uh, um, well, not a world record, probably, presumably, but a, uh, well, a record for this room. Yeah, great. So I, I've done a, a ridiculously high shuffle, very good score, and you've beaten me. Uh, let me just have a look at uh, what's happened. Um, yeah, mm, okie doke. Right, and then, so you've, no, I shuffled, you shuffled, and now I'm going to do a triple cut. I shuffled, you shuffled, and I have done a triple cut. Let's see how the cards are. That's how they are, perfectly separated. Uh, blacks and reds. Mm, not bad, is it? <laughs> blacks uh, and reds from shuffle, shuffle, triple cut. And that is the second best outcome. Um, so, Unfortunately, this is this is a trick where there are uh, various outcomes, that being the second best. Um, I'll show you how to do it right now. Here we go. So the setup is thus, uh, the black cards and the red cards on top, or the other way around. It doesn't matter. Mm. And you genuinely just shuffle them. Just genuinely shuffle uh, the cards. I've found that the higher amounts of packets you move, uh, the, the likelihood increases of the trick going well. And then the spectator does the same. The spectator uh, shuffles the cards. Like so. No fake shuffling by me or by them, just a normal overhand shuffle. Then you take the cards back as the magician and spread and see, see what they look like. Mm. Just have a look to yourself. And then close, uh, close the pack and, and put it down, uh, because this time the best outcome has happened. So in, in the the first one you saw, I shuffled, then you shuffled, then I did a triple cut. This time I've shuffled, you shuffled, and I've just spread through to to have a look. Uh, would you now, in fact, just uh, ribbon spread them? Oh, spectator does this. No triple cut needed. This is the best outcome. Magician shuffles, spectator shuffles. You can spread and get that. Foire. Um, and then the worst outcomes are uh, basically you need to do a triple cut uh, twice. Or the fourth and most horrific option is it just goes wrong, which all tricks do occasionally. Mm. So if you would like to learn how to do that, come back tomorrow. Shall I make you wait? Yeah, come back tomorrow to uh, see how that is done. But for now, I have been uh, Mark Wooding, or the great Woo. The great Woo.
Wu The Great Wu Ding The Great Wu Ding's gonna do a thing